Well, guys, had a couple things coming for the uh, old Explorer today. One of those things is a new dry drop-in filter. My wife's a little hesitant about letting me do things to this vehicle because we have already had it in for some uh, warranty repairs, including a replacement transmission. So we're taking it easy. Uh, I do like AFE stuff normally, but we know AEM's good, and this is about half the price of the drop-in filter from AFE. So I'm going to put it in the Explorer right now. See if we can get any noises, any differences in exhaust or intake. We'll see. When we put the dry filter in uh, the Q50, you get a little extra suction noise on intake. Uh, so we'll see uh, how it sounds here under the hood with this filter. Um, we'll also get some clips from behind the vehicle before and after too. Some people say that, uh, you know, higher flowing intake filters change the exhaust tone. Um, that wasn't the case with the Q50, although some people will claim that as well, but it didn't, uh, and I don't think it will here either, but like I said, we'll get some before and afters and see just, just in case. Probably hasn't been changed in 18,000 miles. Not terrible. Not too bad. <laughs> Wait, this is really... It's okay, you don't have to show. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Metal mesh, quality, triple layer. I like to do everything the hard way. It just looks like it's struggling a lot there. There you go. Sets right in there. Perfect fit. Should seal up good with this nice rubbery, whatchamacallit, scientific term. Sticky stuff? Sticky stuff. Ooh, a little good of a seal. Suction? Quite tight. But I guess you know it seals up good that way. Okay. Just like factory. Now, we'll just go around back again. We'll do the same thing. A couple revs in the rear, and we'll come up. A couple revs in the rear. Surprisingly enough, I could actually hear a little bit of a turbo sound coming from that thing now. It's pretty cool. I told her to get after it a little bit, but she's only 15 and a half, and we're in the neighborhood. Could hear a little extra suction noise from under the hood, too, so that's pretty cool. I wonder how the throttle response is. I guess we're going to have to actually test that out ourselves. But like I said, I went with the AEM filter. Um, I generally like AFE stuff. That's what I have in the Q50, like I said. Um, but that was $70 or something like that for just a drop-in filter for the Explorer, whereas the AEM filter was like $36 or $32. So it was hard to beat that, and essentially they're they're pretty much the same thing. And as you can see, fits perfect, uh, seals up nice and tight, so we're not going to have any weird leaks or anything like that. So uh, that should serve its purpose. Uh, also ordered uh, one more thing. 
from the same. This is why I hate FedEx, and I've talked about my pure disdain for FedEx in the past. Uh, but same shopping cart, same place. This came from Steeda, Steeda Performance, uh, Ford Performance stuff. Um, I got a rear sway bar for the Explorer as well for a couple of reasons. It's a big, top-heavy vehicle. I just want to eliminate some of that sway and some of that roll. But it's uh, right around 200 bucks, so it's uh, kind of a no-brainer um, considering you know the uh, adjustability, the performance, the added performance that we'll be able to get from this vehicle, and also uh, just the functionality and the versatility that we're getting to the Explorer. So anyway, that was supposed to come. That was in the same order, same shopping cart as this filter. They were both scheduled to be delivered today. In fact, I, there was just one shipping option, which was FedEx, or unless I wanted to pay a bunch more, I could have chose something else. Nonetheless, I assumed they were both shipping together. Well, it turned out one was coming from, one one part was coming from Texas, another was coming from Valdosta, Georgia, which I think is like three hours from here. I'm in Greenville, South Carolina, right? Well, one thing didn't show up. Obviously, the sway bar didn't show up today. Now, based on this information, where would you think that the sway bar is coming from? Probably Texas, right? It's much, much further away, 17, 18, 20 hours away. Well, no, no, the filter came from Texas and that made it today, just in a couple of days. The sway bar coming from Val Valdosta, Georgia, three hours away from here, didn't make it. It's been two days, FedEx couldn't get it here. I, I forgot to add in there that the filter came UPS. So although I selected FedEx, apparently the shipper they used from, from the uh, Texas facility, it, it came on a UPS truck, made it here in two days, on time, on schedule, but, you know, the, the FedEx truck just couldn't make it from Georgia. Although it showed that it left the facility two days ago. It couldn't make it here. Just couldn't make that three-hour trip to Greenville. So, FedEx sucks. Well, I want to get these tires uh, mounted and balanced tomorrow on the old wheels. But I can't find a place that's open on Sundays to do it for me. So, not sure when this video will actually go up. I kind of want to do a complete video but i guess there's a couple other things that i want to do um i think i'm gonna pull a car in uh, how much of a project do i want to take on tonight let's do it so i'm actually gonna take this seat out real quick tonight not because i don't like it but because if you can tell it's got a little bit of a rock, and I think it might be my fault. Um, the mounting bolt on the underside for the slider to the underside of the seat, uh, it's a little bit loose, and I don't, you probably can't see it. This will give me a chance to vacuum it or two. It's that head right there. See that? So I didn't get it either backed up from just, you know, sitting on this thing and sliding in, uh, you know, over and over over the last year or so, or um, it, I just didn't get it tight. So I'm going to pull it out quick, tighten that down. Unfortunately, you have to take, it's an Allen, it takes an Allen key. So uh, you got to take it out and uh, slide the bracket back and uh, tighten it that way. So a little bit of a project, but easy enough. in my seat bracket so pulled the seat out and tightening okay, it down yeah I can't find anything I want yeah can't de can't decide what I want
there we go. Seats all back firmly in place. No more Rocky Rock. Still gotta vacuum this thing. I was hoping to get a lot more tire burning footage for you here before I put the new tires on this car, but unfortunately it was a pretty rainy, crappy weekend here in the Greenville area. And believe it or not, there aren't a whole lot of places around where you can do a bunch of dirty burnouts and not draw attention to yourself. So uh, that kind of sucked. And by the time I actually found a spot, we kind of scoped the area and noticed that a quarter mile away from the lot, right on that same road, down at the end of the road at the intersection, there had been a car accident. Nothing super serious as far as I know. Uh, but there were several cop cars and some fire trucks making their way to the area and uh, so we just knew it had to be kind of a quick hit and get out of there i found a spot that i knew kind of uh, early on in the morning kind of a warehousey spot uh, expecting not much attention to be in that area at all i did one little spin around here with my daughter in the car before we had the camera running and uh, across the lot people had come out and uh, were watching what we were doing as I tried to take some pictures even. So I, I anticipated no attention whatsoever early on a Sunday morning, but I was wrong. I haven't really beat on this car all that much, especially in terms of, you know, whipping it around and doing a bunch of burnouts and stuff. So uh, I really haven't gotten my uh, technique uh, dialed in in terms of, you know, doing some nice, nice round consistent loops. But uh, you can see in that clip, how just the one wheel really wants to spin and because it was wet and uh, the tires are pretty bald now um it wasn't i wasn't able to, to gain a lot of control i'm sure a bunch of you will have uh, some pointers but uh, this car is one just uh, obviously like i said not trying it a whole lot uh, over the course of the last couple of years i really haven't uh, really haven't developed a proper technique and now that we're getting some newer stickier tires i'm not sure we will develop it but Anyway, it was a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys watching and I uh, look forward to getting the new tires on this thing and testing them out right away. So stick around for that. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Thank you very, very much for the continued support and uh, we'll see you in the next one.